Hey, how's it going? My name is Kevin and I am the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. Today, we are talking about a feature called Smart Rules inside of the HubSpot CMS. And I wanna show you how you can use this cool feature as you're starting to think about designing your website for a desktop experience versus a mobile experience and how you can use this to actually make the mobile experience even faster, quicker to digest the information, and an overall just better experience for the customers visiting your website on their mobile device. So let's jump straight into HubSpot and I'll show you what we can do to activate this feature. So first and foremost, we're using the Clean Pro theme and I've just grabbed one of the homepage templates. Now, if we click into any of the modules on the page, you're gonna see this little left side drawer pop out and right at the top we have Add Smart Rules. And this is where we can activate a bunch of different properties that we can basically design and add different content type for. In this, we're just gonna be hyper-focused on the device type rule. So if we click device type right up here and we click add rule, what we can do is we can come right down here and select what we want to show based on what device type. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and do mobile, save that. And now what we can do is we can define all of the aspects of that module according to device type. So our default would just be normal desktop at this point, and now we have mobile. So a couple cool things to take note is what we can do, for example, is say we don't want this rotating text headline on mobile. We just wanna keep it simple and have some text right below. So just for example's sake, we'll just say for mobile, and we're gonna go ahead and make this an H1 and we'll keep that call to action there for now. So if I apply changes, I just wanna show you what to expect. Now right now, what we're looking at here, albeit this is more of a desktop version, if we go right up here, we can see what we're editing for. And now we can bounce back and forth between device types to see what content we actually have in there. Then if we go over here to the preview, we can see this in a little bit more detail. So here's our for mobile. If we look at it on desktop, there's our standard sort of rotating text. Now this works great for content. So if you did on desktop wanna be uh, just a little bit more long-winded with what you write because there's more screen real estate for someone to read and digest that content versus a mobile device where they're just scrolling and you want to be a little bit more streamlined with your content. It is a great tool for literally just the written content. But now let's talk about how this can actually benefit the mobile speed and performance of your website. And largely that's gonna have to do with how you're able to optimize images for both desktop and mobile. See on desktop, now if we just click right into this, let's just click right back into this hero banner, and we go down to our row settings. Whoops, we're on the wrong one. We go to our row settings. Now we can see here, we've got this big, beautiful background image that's gonna look fantastic on desktop because it's sized according. Now on a mobile device, obviously it doesn't need to be that big or the file size doesn't need to be that big. So one thing I would highly recommend if optimizing for speed and performance is super important to you on a mobile device is to think about how you can use the smart rule feature to come in and optimize this image. So in this example, what we would do is we would come to the default, come back down to mobile, come to our row settings, and then we would simply remove that existing one and then upload one that is more in line with the actual size of a mobile device, which is typically around the 600 pixel wide by a varied height, depending on how large or tall your content is. Suffice to say that this is gonna be a great tool for you to utilize, especially if you want really beautiful, nice, crisp images on a desktop where you have a little bit more leg room with their file sizes versus on a mobile device where people need to have it load fast. So you can optimize those images to be super small. 
So another thing that I would like to point out, and let's just apply these changes and work our way down the page, is there are other opportunities where on desktop, maybe you have some cool background video that plays in the background. Now, background videos look awesome, they will work on mobile, but they are going to make the page load speed a lot, uh, take a lot longer. So in this case, what we would wanna do is we'd wanna come over here, we'd want to add a smart rule. We go back by device type. We're gonna add again by mobile. We'll save that. And just as I showed you right above, since we're editing for mobile, I would go into the row settings. Let's just go ahead and remove this clip. And maybe I would just add an image and take a screenshot of this dude surfing to actually show up on a mobile device. And this whole technique can work across any module. So this is gonna be a great way for you to start thinking about how you can create that exceptional experience for all device types using the clean theme and more specifically using HubSpot smart rules. Hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments below or jump over to my website. I am more than happy to help you in any way, shape or form. And with that, I'm out. I will see you in next week's video and quick tip related to HubSpot. Later.